That is all done and glued up. I'm glad I've got them all done up for today because it's going to set me up very well for tomorrow. So, the few things I forgot to mention from last week. My patron, uh, Nick, came over and absolutely obliterated this pile of scraps that had accumulated for the past two years. So, Nick, thank you very much for taking the majority of that. I now have space. I've still got to work out what I want to do this stump. This was a Christmas present from my brother and my dad about 10 years ago, and I need to sort something out and get it out of here. But I want to do something with it. So, yes. <laughs> now, the other thing I was going to say is I mentioned about... Uh, it might be the week before actually, the adapter from my Makita router to my Makita shop vac doesn't connect. Funny that, isn't it? Even though they're both Makita. A lot of you message me back saying you'll 3D print something for me, which is amazing. Like I was inundated with the amount of offers, so thank you very much. I may still take you up on that. But also a lot of you mentioned about CTS, which is a, a hose connecting system. I'll tag them in here. And because I'm gonna start looking into them as well, because I've got a lot of few things that I need to attach to my shop vac. Now you saw me put Rubio uh, Monocoat in between these gaps, so obviously I can't be able to get in here. So it's good to get it sealed. So I have put Rubio in there as well as on these bits as well. And the good thing about Rubio, just like you saw on the coffee table build that we did last week, you can put it on and within an hour, within less than an hour, it's touch dry. Now, it doesn't cure for a few more days after that, but you can essentially still use it. They might say something different. <laughs> but yeah, it's really good with that, uh, in, in that respect. You can get it on and buff it off. And within an hour, you're ready to go. So it's just good. Guys, I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Yesterday. Okay, so I have just mulched this up. You can have all the design, little formats and drawings and everything like that, but Things change when you get it physically in front of you and that's kind of how I like to work. So I have just done these little randovers because this, this edge here, basically all these corners are gonna get this massive roundover here. And I wanna just kind of make sure the measurements are right. There's this, this overlay is the same and stuff like that. Overlay, overlap, you know what I mean. I've just done some measurements to make sure all these stretchers or aprons, whatever you wanna call them, are gonna be the right dimensions to get this all nice and square. But before I start doing that, I am gonna go put Ronnie down for a nap <laughs> and have a cup of tea. So I'll see you in a sec, bye. This is where we are at. These are all in. Well, I say in, they're just clamped in place right now. There's no dominoes holding them in or anything. And I still have to cut them to size. You can see that it's a little bit deeper than where that curve fits in. So I need to stick a little smidge off that. The bottom panel is also in. They're gonna get dominoed in to the stretches here. It also goes underneath here to close that gap that's underneath the same as on the top there. So I notched out all the little things around there, up on the bayon saw. I didn't film it, because I just wanted to get it done. <laughs> but you know what it is, little notch, and then it slots right in. But yeah, that's basically what it's looking like right now. I'm not in the workshop tomorrow, as of Wednesday, that is. All I've got to do when I come back Thursday, I need to put the dominoes, line up all the dominoes for here, and then I've lined up all the dominoes for the stretches and stuff like that. I just need to fit them. And then probably what I'll do, I may actually just glue that up as it is and then put the central divider in and then put the shelves in. Who knows? I also, oh, oh, it really hurt. My little pinky, Woo! the whole thing. Uh, I was trying to put this panel in and the whole thing landed on that little pinky. My little pinky was out, but that didn't hurt at all. But guys, I'll see you Thursday. Bye. Okay, so no, no, I am not gonna glue it up, as I said on Tuesday, like this. So, I need to do, I've been sleeping on this, I need to do the dado in here. So this is the central divider slot. Uh, this is the center mark between here. The central panel, which is that thing there, 
is going to go right up here. It needs to get cut to size. And then it's going to be dominoes keeping it in there. Because it's only going to go to the back of here. But on this back, it's going to get a little notch out. So it can sit just about 7 mil from the back. Because there's going to be a back panel onto here. So it's going to get a dado all the way here. It will stop just about there. So I'm not going to cut through this. I've then got to cut all the domino slots, get all that in, then I can glue it up. And then once it's like that, I'm then going to do the dados for the sides, central divider, so then I can slot the shelves in from the back. That way. That's what I'm going to do. Even though it's going to be a bit cumbersome moving this around when it's in one big piece, I just think it's going to be better. Yeah. And it's big enough to be able to get my router in and out. Yeah, that's the plan. See you in a sec. Bye. Oh, happy Thursday. So we have the central divider already in. As you saw, I did the dado for here. It worked out really well. There's also a notch at the front here, just by about 20 mil back and seven mil up or down, whichever way you put it. Because seven mil is the depth of the dado. And then I've obviously got a notch at the back here. This back piece has a tend to go boop, a bit of a bow. So I just need to pull it in a little bit. So now, kind of just a bit of sanding and then a glue up. Probably won't be able to get time to do a glue up tonight, which I really wanted to, but for some reason, I didn't glue this front edge on like I did the back one on yesterday. I just didn't do that. I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe I can get in here at the weekend to glue it up so it's ready and prepped to continue on Monday next week. But yeah, what I was thinking so far, it's basically just a big box with curvy, thick legs. <laughs> How do everyone? So I know I've been a little bit quiet, just a little quiet. I'm not my, like fully quiet, but it's a little quiet because I wanted to get stuff done and it was boring stuff. It was sanding and applying finish. Not full finish, don't you worry. I've not gone right ahead and finished the entire thing. I have got it all glued up and assembled. The main, the main carcass anyway. And what I finished was the inside. This has been finished, this has been finished, that's been finished, this has been finished, this has been finished, this has been finished. And just the outside pieces have not, so anything's around here. I've also added the full roundovers on the corners. Yeah, I think that's basically everything that's been done, I think. I can't do really anything in and out because there's not much space and this is taking up my entire workbench. So tomorrow I've got the doors there and I'm gonna square one edge where both edges and get them all glued up. So I'm gonna start them, but also I'm then gonna start doing the dedos to the sides up here so that it can get the shelves in. And then we're on to the final stretch, I believe. Sanding, finish, and back piece in. Back rebates for the back panel. Oh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Hope for well. And we'll see you later on, because I'm done. So we are here once again. I'm, oh, I'm going to turn this around because I'm loving how this is looking right now. Oh, just look at it. Just look at it. Woo. So I have now squared up the edges of the doors and I've oriented them in the way that looks good. Now at the minute, obviously, you get loads of different colour variations within wood. And what me and Katie like to do, if you don't know, Katie is my wife, she is part of the business. We've just come in here whilst Riley was napping and we've just checked and just moved these around and you can see how it just forms a nice little flow. And you can see actually where we put the carpenter's triangle has that is moved around. Like this board was an end piece before. But now we think this from left to right looks like a nice flow. And once glued together and on there, 
that's gonna look wicked. So now I'm gonna glue these up and then done for the night. And then tomorrow, get sand in those, get them all cut to size. Hopefully try and work out, get them on there. Actually, I probably won't get them on there because I've still got the bloody shelves. I've still got the dados to do, which I was hoping to do today, but I didn't get around to doing it, family stuff. Yeah, get the dados in, maybe we'll do the rebate for the back, so the back panel can slot in. But damn! We are pretty much nearly, nearly there. So yeah, the shells have been slotted in. They looking great. The rebate has also been um, put in the back. Let me show you. There's the rebate here. This thing here, uh, all around the back. Um, so the back panel can go in. That just needs to be cut to size and slotted in, but I won't do that right until the end until everything's finished, as in applied the finish and everything. The doors, which are there, they need to have uh, the handle, which I have an inset draw pull handle cut into that. So I need to do that next week. Then all that needs to be done is rounded over and some more sanding. Hinges on, all that lot, more finish, more sanding, done.